Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim. I'm here to try out the updated Freeware C17 from Delta Simulations. Previously you might have gotten a Freeware C17 and that would have been from Destroyer 121. This is the same C17. Destroyer 121 has rebranded it as Delta Simulations and it is available on GitHub and it is version 3.4.2 now so it's had quite a lot of updates and I'll put the link in the video description and we have a lot of interesting features considering it's freeware. Uh, it looks fairly good in general in here. Only one gripe is that panel right there isn't done yet. I'm sure considering, oh that, that one back there, but uh, considering the update pace, uh, I think eventually you'll get done because uh, it seems like it's in continual development. Uh, but we also have this pad here and we have the aircraft customization, the crew door, um, that, that should be open. Yeah, it's open right there. Now let's close it. I tried it out already. Oh, it takes a little bit of time to close it. Alright, so that's the look of the exterior model. There are a bunch of liveries. I've picked the Edwards livery because we're flying out of Edwards in this case. And it looks really good. Nice and dusty. Uh, little uh, marks where you expect them to be. Not random or anything. Yep, definitely looks like a proper C-17 to me. I haven't flown a C-17 in real life, that's for sure. But uh, we've got cones and covers here. Let's just get on with it and see how it flies. But uh, there is the manual in here, so that's convenient. Though, uh, the add bookmark thing is really close to this arrow. That's my only right there. Um, also, uh, you have to get your lighting right, otherwise you won't be able to read it. But uh, it's still handy to have it here. And then a map. It's not just the VFR map from the game. Uh, it does take a little second to load though. It is a map like this. That aircraft center. I don't know what that button is. There's a browser and the only setting is the EFB brightness which is sort of important too. Though. So the ma map is a nice map. But it's also a slow map. And it doesn't retain what it was doing before. Uh, I'm not gonna toy with that anymore right now. That's open topo map and then there's open street map apparently. Yep, okay. Edwards Air Force Base. Yeah, we should have an icon there, but I guess that's it's not that kind of map. It is just a map map. Alright. So, Edwards Air Force Base, let's try and take off here. We even have a HUD. I'm carrying close to the maximum takeoff weight. And we're off. Let's take a look at the landing gear. Very nice. Interesting sound from the engines. Uh, it's definitely not a stock sound. And we'll just fly on over to Los Angeles and land at LAX for some reason. Feels very steady to fly as you would expect and it's got a good heft to it. But it turns uh, actually pretty quickly as you can see. Oh, from back here it's got this sound. And this is how it sounds like in here now. So, uh, let me try out the autopilot here. Nice set that we have here. Okay, looking good. I think it's doing everything I want it to as far as the autopilot is concerned. Just the basics here. But, yeah. Obviously, these days, making freeware for flight sim is a lot more onerous than in the old days because people have higher expectations. And so, to get something of this quality is marvelous. And yeah, it takes a lot of time and effort for somebody to do this as freeware. And so it's much appreciated. Yeah, this is quite exceptional. If there was a uh, next target for improvement, because it seems to be updated a lot, it'd be this stuff right here. 
um, if there were some more polygons on certain things, that might be helpful. Un unless they're actually looking like that in the real thing, I'm not sure. <laughs> but because of the proximity of them in my view, they sort of stand out. Well, it's certainly looking good. Nice and stable at the numbers I set it to. Nice view. It's not the plane I would think of to tour around with, but at least this window offers a nice view. Okay, we're descending a bit because we're past the mountains anyway, and we might as well get a look at things. Well, if us are all down right now, it's nice and quiet up front, still feisty in the back. I feel like they're very good sounds. Just can't say for sure, but I feel like they're very good sounds. So I haven't gone through the startup procedure, of course, I'm just seeing how it is to fly. After all, uh, startup is one thing, but the plane has to be enjoyable to fly. And so far, so good as far as that's concerned. And of course, the general looks and feel of the whole thing. The HUD looks good too. It's very nice. Yep. It's a solid beast right there. Okay, can the map at least remind me which one was 2 4 right? Okay, the one, the first on the right, one coming from, from the city side, alright. Well, I'm not gonna wait for anybody else, uh, if there happens to be somebody else in line, I'm going in. Air brakes, whoa, air brakes have a distinct effect on our pitch. They probably got to wave me off because I don't see a Boeing in front of me right now. <laughs> Follow the Boeing on final. Well, it, it tends to sway a lot on final and that might be because of the high wing. You know, it tends to go off to... I'm not used to exactly how it handles on final here. Okay, somehow I've gotten it down. <laughs> Do I have reversers? I think it... I, I probably just am not engaging reversers correctly. Alright, alright, getting off of the runway. So there you have it, the Delta Simulation C-17 flies very well, pretty much as you would expect it to, and handles very smoothly. Uh, during landing, it's a little bit interesting, uh, and that's just because of its sheer momentum uh, to one side or another, so and I guess I haven't been flying planes like this recently, so I'll have to get used to it, but otherwise uh, quite manageable, and of course it looks good, and for a freeware plane it's incredible. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.